Alright guys, I am back and this is my WWE Raw review for the 16th of the 4th, 2013. Um, this was a average show to me in my mind. Um, in my opinion, it was a average show. We had a few good matches. The tag match was good. The Kofi and Cesaro match was good. Uh, the Wade Brat and our truth match was okay. Uh, the Ryback video package was long. But uh the Orton Sheamus and Orton Sheamus but Orton and Sheamus was his big show that was, you know, long no oh, Orton and Sheamus was good. And uh, the Shield and you know and the and the Brock Lesnar stuff, um the Brock Lesnar stuff was good. So anyway. So the show starts off with so the first match tonight is a two on handicap match, Orton versus Sheamus. No, Orton, Orton and Sheamus vs Big Show. It's just it's a rematch on SmackDown. We had two rematches on SmackDown on the show. So anyway, Big Show he he uh, clobbers um Sheamus's chest, and then Orton he um tags in. He gets a hot tag. He hits a DDT, and uh, um he tries to hit an RKO. Big Show blocks it, and then Sheamus hits a bro kick. Big Show falls on the ropes. So he, he he bounces back off the ropes, then he gets hit, hit with the RKO for the win. Uh, good match here. I, this I enjoyed this match. It was good. Uh, it was it was a good match to start off Raw. Something different, a two-on-one handicap match. It was a really interesting SmackDown. So we kind of said actually in rules it's going to be a triple threat match between uh, Big Show, Orton, and Sheamus here. And that would be a good team if we had Orton and Sheamus in the Titan Division. That would really help the Titan Division. In WWE. Se uh, so and then we see a segment between 3 and B. 3 and B says that they they want to handle an apology from uh, last from last week's SmackDown when um, the Shield attacked uh, them when 3 and B got attacked by the Shield. Then Brock Lesnar comes out. Now this was a this was the awesome bit of the show I thought. Brock Lesnar comes out and he he hits a German suplex on Jinder Mahal, clothesline Drew McIntyre, and hits an F5. On, on two F5s on the barricade, which was awesome, badass too. Um, and then, well, before that, he's trying to run out the ring, trying to escape out. He's trying to uh, run out. He's trying to run, run, run out, run outside the ring. Then Lesnar it, it, like just runs there fast and it close lines him, F5s him on the barricade twice, and then Heyman comes down. He he cuts a promo. Heyman says that Brock Lesnar wants a, ma a, a rematch against Triple H at Extreme Rules. It's it's going to be an old school. It, the 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 step's going to be an old school steel cage match. So is that going to be a black or a blue steel cage? Is that going to be a blue steel cage match? Or is it going to be one of those like old school? I was thinking maybe a Lions Den match they could have had. Oh, they could have a Lions Den match. Uh, last Lions Den match in Dodi was I think a Ken Shamrock versus Vince McMahon. Right that was the last Lions Den match I remember. But um, I don't. Uh, I don't. That's probably the only one I've seen. But uh, if they're having the Lions Den match, yeah, it could be good. Um, second match of the night. US title nine, Kofi Kingston versus Antonio Cesaro. And Cesaro, I am sick of Antonio Cesaro yodeling. He yodels down to the ring now. He's he's doing. We've been doing this for the last couple of weeks now, and the last couple of weeks, and I'm sick of this. WWE must hate Antonio Cesaro right now because they made him lose the US title, and he's yodeling. He's fucking yodeling. What the hell does that fucking mean? Why is he yodeling in down down in the ring? It's so embarrassing. Stop yodeling. Dirty Dirty if you're watching me right now, please stop him yodeling. It's, in, it's bad for him as well. He, I don't think he he wants to do yodeling. You let like, him do yodeling. He's better than this. Losing to Kofi Kingston, the guy who doesn't win a match. Only I don't even know how he got in this US title match anyway. Okay, he beat him on SmackDown, but he hasn't won a match in months anyway, so who cares? Anyway, Kofi hits him with a tour in paradise, and um, Cesaro hits him with a uppercut in midair. In midair, uppercut is like, hits him like that. And then, uh, you know, 
I'm just pissed off of it. I want Antonio Zola, Anton Zola or Brian Rex to win one of the event this year. Number two fits to win one of the event this year. Please build him up to the main event scene. I've said it for months now. Please listen to me, guys. And then we see a then we see a promo for Dolph. He says that uh, he be, he became the new world champion last week on Raw. He says that uh, he's he's that he, he's that too he's he's too good. He says he's that too good or something. I don't know. He says he's he's too good. Then Del Rio comes out. He says he wants his real t world title match. He wants his world title rematch tonight. Then Vicky comes out. She makes a world title match for tonight between Del Rio and Dolph. Um, the match doesn't start. Swagger attacks um, Del Rio and and uh, hit, puts him in the yeah, attacks him, puts him in the Patriot, and then uh, so anyway, and then um, we see the the eighth match, of, the third match of the night, which was te Team Hell No versus Prime Time Players. Team Hell No, w um, Team Hell No, uh, came its shots line for the win, and then when he Here's the uh, line headbutt for the win. Um, and why are WWE creating pointing like the Phantom Boys with Team Hello? We've seen this match before, we don't need to see Team Hello versus the Primetime players. Again, we saw a SmackDown, so another SmackDown rematch we saw. You don't need to see it all the time. Put we got other different tag teams. Like I said, uh, like uh, earlier in the video, put like something like um, Orton and Sheamus together, two main eventers. Look at TNA doing with Bobby Roode and Austin Aries. They put those two together, and look how great they're they're as a tag team. Put Orton and Big, put Big Show and Sheamus as a tag team after this feud with Big Show. Put this tag team back where it was. Put this tag team division back where it was. Anyway, yeah, I said team on that one. Anyway, segment we see right back. He's showing this video package of him getting beat up by the shield. He says that Cena Superman, but he's kryptonite, and he says he's got attacked by the shield six times. He shows the video packages of sh the shield costing him the WWE title, uh, uh, um, on Raw and the Survivor Series, and um. Cena giving um uh, giving his title he talks about Cena giving his title shot to um uh Ryback also um I see the the trying to copy T N A WWE of it with the Bowie Ray trying to um reveal the plan of the Aces and Eights how they all came together as a group it kind of seems that way how WWE have done that but uh yeah I don't know if they're copying or not but uh yeah. There's the segment between Brad Myers and Vicky and Teddy. They're backstage. Um, Teddy makes it. T Teddy tells Vicky that at Extreme Level it's going to be Swagger versus Del Rio versus. Uh, it's going to be Swagger and Del Rio, and at Extreme Level it's going to be Triple Threat match for the World Title. Sw Dolph defending against Del Rio and Swagger. And then Maddox. Maddox says, "Shouldn't you tell Booker about this?" And then Teddy says. It's your job, and I, was, I don't know. People are saying that I've heard that people are saying that they might have a book tea. They might no, they might have a Teddy Long heel turn. I doubt it. But um, imagine Teddy Long being a heel, or Teddy Long being a heel. Does anybody think that would happen? Something I threw out there. And then we see the fourth match tonight is Dolph Ziggler versus Swagger. Swagger wins with a roll for the win. Del Rio after the match. Uh, after the match, Del Rio comes out and attacks him. Um, um, he puts the cross arm breaker um, on him from this. Uh, he's on like the stage and he puts the uh, cross arm breaker on Del Rio and uh, Swagger. <coughs> and I hope Dolph does win this match at Extreme Rules and he can feud with Chris Jericho or something because I've heard Jericho, Jericho is on tour on now on with Fozzy now. So yeah, he was supposed to like go on tour last week, but they scheduled this week. I hope then. We have a. I want to see Chris Jericho versus Dolph Ziggler feud at the next pay feud when Dolph. Hopefully, Dolph, when Dolph retains the title. So, okay, have Dolph Ziggler versus Chris Jericho because these two. Because, you know, Chris Jericho and Dolph Ziggler, they, they know each other so well. You know, if they feud again, that'll be awesome. I want to see the Chris Jericho and Dolph Ziggler feud. 
And then we see Striker interviewing Seamus. Mark Henry comes up and he, he throws him into the like the TV whilst backstage and stuff. He says, "That's what I do." And then we see a promo between Paul uh, between Punk. He says that. He had he had the longest title reign. He says that uh, he's about to be in for the title, and he said that he wanted to that one more thing. He said he wanted to face the Undertaker at WrestleMania. He did. He pushed the Undertaker to his limit. And then we, had, we um I don't know what I don't know. CM Punk. It's rumored that CM Punk. Uh, people. Um, CM Punk has been ruled out for some house shows for WWE stuff so like Raw. And um, people have been saying I think it's on P I think it's on um, Blanche Report, which is a wrestling website I am subscribed to. They said that he might be off till SummerSlam. That's a big blow for WWE Crazy. If they punks off till SummerSlam, that's a big blow because he's one of the main guys with John Cena. So you know Cena, you know I don't know, but I you know, and they don't have proof like The Rock. You know he's still injured or playing injured role. But uh, yeah, so and see if it might be turning face. So if he's turning face, that'd be okay. But only my problem with see if it's turning face is last year when he was a face, he didn't really main event that many previews when he had the title and stuff. So if they're gonna turn face, that's awesome. I like him as a face or a heel. He can look both. Sorry, I'm just pressing on my uh, microphone here. The fifth match tonight was Barrett versus Our Truth. Our Truth hits the Logan for the win. Why? I mean, well, I, I and um. Archie uh, carries the waistline, but why? But I, I just never got an entrance for this anyway. But um, yeah, I didn't care about this. And then Booker T is talking to Teddy backstage. Teddy tells Booker that there's um, a what um, he's put the hotel match between Swagger between Del Dolph Swagger and Del Rio, and there's been rules. Booker T, I guess I forgot what he said, but um, yeah. Then Fandango comes down to the ring. Um, social media buzzing about Fandango's theme song. It's getting, I don't know, it reminds you of the current angle theme song. You suck. You suck. That theme song he had. It was a, I didn't really like that theme song. I like the teenage theme song he has now. But uh, yeah, uh, I don't know this gimmick. I've said in the past, in my past reviews, to try and pull this Fandango gimmick off, they've got to really, you know, pull it out there. Let it, I don't know, it's dying down a bit slowly now for me. I'm not really interested anymore. About it. And then we see a promo between Cena. Cena calls out the Ryback. We see a Cena and Ryback com uh, com confrontation. Um, he says that. Uh, Cena should be shaking in his boots. He, he doesn't know. He says that Ryback is a threat. He says that also that Ryback does not like. Cena does not like what Ryback did last week, but he respects him. And um, the Shield come out then, and then uh, they triple bow. They they uh, attack Cena. They hit Cena with a triple power bomb, and that's how we ended Raw. Ryback was. Looking, he was watching Cena from the ramp. He was looking down at Cena, at the ramp, and that was it. That's when we ended Raw. So that's my Raw review. Uh, so Raw, I, I guess the next review is going to be John Cena versus um, John Cena, Cena versus Ryback for the title at Extreme Rules. So that could be good. Um, Ryback's heel turn so far, it, it's it's okay. I'm liking it so far. What do you guys think about this? What do you guys think about this? So, my, it was an old, I think it was an average show, Raw. My opinion on Raw, it was an average show. What do you guys think about Raw? Leave a comment in the comments below, guys. Thanks for watching. Break out.